So, if you don't already know, Call of Duty's coming out with a new one, and it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and this is the closest to it that we have that resembles Call of Duty. Well, at least these dudes are just sniping across the map. Where are they? There's one. Alright, here it is, here it is. Yeah. Stop. 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 D move, big head. Got more weight. Yeah, so Call of Duty's coming out with a new game. I don't know how I feel about it personally. It looks a little bit more passive when it comes down to the play style and stuff like that. And people are coming on this game right now to play this game. Wow. So yeah, people have been playing a little bit passively on this game already. Like you guys just saw right there when I was about to hit a clip. They're all just camping in the back. And it's really irritating. But at the same time, with no mini map on Modern Warfare, the new one, I think that a lot of the play style is going to be a little bit more passive to the point where people are just gonna be playing like a bunch of campers like that's battle royale all right buddy look at look 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 at the way you're camping oh my god bro i walk left i walk right i die like can i go somewhere hello um what See, even with this game, like, this game brings back old Call of Duty feeling to it. Yeah, it's great, but at the same time, it's still... F oh my god, there's two people in front of me, I'm blind. Even with this game bringing the old Call of Duty feeling back to the game, this isn't the best... Oh, look at you camping. Get fucking nailed, kid. Don't camp like that. I just hope the new Call of Duty isn't booty cheats, like the last three or four. I mean, the last three or four are great, but the play styles that people have been playing on, it's just awful. They don't know how to play it right. They don't know how to play the game. They don't know how to rush in, play the, like, four-point objective. They just kind of sit and camp like this fucking loser right here. And this loser right there. And then these two right here. This one and this one yeah but you get the point like these dudes these dudes are just camping really hardcore and it's the most irritating thing ever like he's still camping in the back of his spawn i'm trying to run away this way so i can maybe get a glimpse at him when they come out of it we lost by one point at the same time i just hope the new call of duty is in booty and hopefully we can get some fun gameplays out of it and like exciting times because i miss the days where bo2 bo1 where you get to just play endlessly for days on end hours on end like nowadays i can only handle a couple of hours of Call of Duty until I'm like, all right, I'm done with this. Shit. There's too much bullshit on this game. People are camping way too hard, and it's gotten like sickening because people just camp for streets, and it's the most annoying thing. And then you sit there with people with streets. Anyways, I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. I've seen a couple of the gameplays from like Pomage, Kitty, and the way they explain the sniping in there and the way they talk about it, it's it's all about attachments and uh, your sniper would weigh more if you had more attachments on it or if you had certain attachments on it that would put more damage on it, for example. I feel like I'm going to be really looking forward to it and excited about it just because of the simple... F oh my God, you're noob tubing. You are literally noob tubing. Oh boy, that is gross. Really feel excited for the game in general overall i'm looking forward to it and i hope it's gonna be good this is the type of play style that i don't want to fucking see on mwr dude or mw sorry this play style bro he's looking around the corner pre-aimed Back to the sniping on MW. Honestly, I'm really liking it, and I'm really liking the way it is, and the way the fact that you can get a certain amount of attachments on your sniper, and then be able to whether run around fast or run around slow, which is the great thing about this, because it will show whether you want damage output or speed output, and like a lot of the time on there, you can even turn the scout rifle I saw in Kitty's videos that he turned some of the scout rifles into a sniper, pretty much a one kill sniper. He turns it into a one kill sniper. So it's it's really cool to have that in Call of Duty. Tack inserts are back and that's gonna be great. That's gonna move the game way faster. And then there's gonna be these game modes where it's gonna be like 10v10, 20v20, 50v50, which if you're gonna get the 50v50, that's gonna be like on next level ground war intense sniper clips. You're gonna have so much variety. You're gonna have all these pitching in, back doing montages again and stuff like that. It will be overall a great game for 
bringing back Call of Duty. If it's truly the way that we're expecting it to be, where it's boots on the ground and super fun, super genuine from what, from the looks of it, it is. But at the same time, I'm worried about one thing and that's the mini map. The mini map has been a part of Call of Duty forever. For like, for as long as you can remember, MW2, COD 4, mini maps. It, it was all available in multiplayer. I wonder how it's gonna play out without the mini, because you're not gonna have high traffic areas or you're not gonna know where to go a lot of the time unless you learn the maps and that just takes